Hey guys, Stack Shocked Down here back for another Cold Spell. It's the second one I've ever done. Last one I done was Apollo Story vs. Nitro. You can look it up on my channel. Today we're going to be doing Alpengeist versus. Uh, I said in the last video I was going to do this at some point, and here it is versus Talon. The two BN members I've been on that aren't. They only have like 10 duplicates. So, and I decided to switch up a little bit because I saw close to the Beast vs. Thunderhead. One in that. And um, the way he did that was a lot more fair than he used to, and I... The way he did Apollo Story vs. Nitro wasn't fair, I mean, one gained points over the other, I didn't think that was fair, so... Anyway, I ranked it out of 10, so, like, it would... The amount of points it would get would be, like, how much it would normally get out of 10 if I were doing a review. Don't know what I mean when I start doing it. First category is height, 190 feet versus... I don't know the exact height of time, I think it's 130 feet, I want to say. Somewhere around that category, but... Talon gets a 5 out of 10 for height, Alpen Geist gets a 7, so, yeah, 7 point, yeah, 7 5 Alpen Geist, it's in lead. Next category is speed, 67 miles an hour versus, uh, I want to say 55 miles an hour, that's, that, that sounds pretty accurate, but yeah. Now it's 14 to 10, they both gain the amount of points they should for that category. Alpen Geist getting 7, Talon getting 5. And this category is really going to bring Alpengeist down, is the smoothness category. Alpengeist was, is one of the roughest, was one of the roughest BMs that I've been on, I was very disappointed with it. While Talon, on the other hand, was glossy smooth the whole ride, zero headbanging, beautiful. Alpengeist got 5 points for that, Talon got 10. Because the, because the thing's out of 10. So it's 19 to 20, Talon's in the lead. Alpengeist, um, the thing with Alpengeist is that it has the worst BNM rail you'll ever experience. My god, I came off this thing with a headache nearly every time I rode it. The BNM rattle is just horrific, and during the cold roll, ow, that thing is just, ugh, terrible. And the mid-course break run, that slams you in there almost like a, like it slams you in there as it's going to a dead stop. It's... Yeah, it's, it's, for a B&M with smoothness, it's brutal. The next category is inversions, and naturally the smoother inversions are going to win. That's just how it is. And so, it's, so Alvin Geist got a 4 for that category, and Talon got a 5. So it's 23-27, Talon is in the lead, because that Cobra on Alvin Geist, like I said, is brutal. The vertical loop is good, the implement is... Alright, the corkscrew is rough, the 0-0 zero zero isn't that great. Some of the inversions are good elements, yet on Alpengeist is just rough. It was definitely a disappointment. So, well, Talon has every single inversion smooth. No headbanging whatsoever. Seems like it was built just yesterday. But... I'm not rating album guys just off of B&M's. If it were if I were rating it for smoothness based off of all B&M's, would have gotten like a one or something. But this is just on all coasters in general. So naturally, the score of for smoothness is a five out of ten. In case you're unaware of what the score system is like, it got album guys got seven out of ten for height, therefore it got five points. Talon got five out of ten for height, therefore it got five points, and then so on and so forth. The intensity category, category. neither one of these to me are really all that intense, especially considering you've been on King Ka, the king of intensity, 456 feet, 128 miles per hour, blah, blah, blah. But Talon got a 6 out of 10 for intensity because it's kind of calm compared to most of the B&Ms. You wouldn't think it's really all that intense, and it's really not. It got a 6 out of 10 for me for intensity, but I'm guessing the other hand... I've actually grayed out, not because of the massive headbanging, no, it was because it was actually pretty intense. It's not the most intense BM that uh, that was ever built. That award goes to Fury, no doubt. But, yeah, it was actually fairly intense. So, Alpen Guys got 7 points for that, Talon got 6, making it 30 to 33, Talon. Next is the drop. 
And these are how enjoyable the drops are. Now, you normally you expect me to like the bigger drop, or the steeper one, and Alpine Geist has both. Yet that drop jerks you around. Like I said, the bean and rattle on Alpine Geist is like the worst you will ever experience. I'm a, like on a B and M, not the worst roughness I go to experience. That award goes to an SLC. I'll be doing that review. Um, uh, might end up being my Halloween special. I don't know. I have to see about that. Um, uh, but yeah, Talon has not the bigger or steeper drop, but the better one because it actually is smooth. Whereas Album Guys drop isn't. And next category, this was. Th these both got seven points right. It was the restraints. They're both very good. Alpengeist is better than it could be because it has the soft headrests. So it's not unbearable. It's just not greatly smooth either, like I was saying. This was why it's made me play an Alpengeist. If it was... Let me just say, I would have liked Talon more if Alpengeist was smoother. Or I would have liked Alpengeist more if it was smoother. But I just came off with a headache and disappointed and just not... It wasn't very rewritable, so yeah. And um, yeah, so yeah, they both got seven points to the restraints, making it forty-two to forty-six talent one. That was probably unexpected by a lot of people, but I don't think Alpine Geist is overrated. I don't find it as I don't think it's the best B and M invert out there. I like I said, I found it to be a quite disappointing, but the talent is currently the best B invert that I've been on. I know Banshee beats it in every way, but I haven't been on it. But once I do, uh, it's very safe to say I'm finding Banshee get beat it in every way. Especially the Pretzel that looks sweet. I think it's better than the Volcano, actually. And it might even be better than the Beast. I'm not sure. I need to think that out. But anyway, if you like this close to battle between Alpengeist and Talon, Talon, the two being inverts I've been on that are not at Six Flags Parks, that are. Decently similar, please give us a like rating, comment, subscribe. Share with me amongst your friends, and if you ever check out other videos like this, I'll be on my channel. Have a wonderful day, kids.